Hi guys, today is a very big day for me. I'm about to go and get my first salon relaxer in I think about eight years. If you've watched my hair story video, you'll know I've only ever relaxed my hair once at a salon and it was a really bad experience, so I haven't been back since. But my stylist at Elite Hair Lounge has convinced me this time around to get a salon relaxer so I can correct some of the areas um, that were under-processed in my last relaxer. So I think I am 14 weeks post today. I think, I have to double check. Normally I relax at 16 weeks post, but I think this was the only time they had available. I had a bit of a rough morning, so I went out last night, so I'm actually running a bit late. So I'm gonna leave now, and I will show you as much as I can of the process. So wish me luck, guys. Okay guys, so I just pulled up, and I'm about to go in and get this done. I'm actually really scared. My mum usually does my hair, so I'm not used to anyone else relaxing my hair. So um, yeah, I'm a little bit nervous, but let's, let's go do this. Hi guys, so I've just got back and I've just been checking out my hair in the mirror and I love it. And so I just thought I'd sit down and tell you a little bit about the whole process. So I got my first salon relaxer in eight years and I've lived to tell the tale. Like it was actually a much less scary experience than I expected. So the last salon relaxer I got was my for my 18th birthday, it was so stressful basically my whole scalp burnt it was way over processed yeah my scalp was literally on fire so i've been scared to get a salon relaxer ever since so um my stylist talisha at elite hair lounge convinced me to get a salon relaxer this time around she was a little bit concerned that there was some areas that were under processed at the line of demarcation so eventually it would break off if I didn't do a little correction. I relaxed my hair at 15 weeks post. I know I said 14 weeks earlier, but it's 15 weeks today. She's actually recommended that I get it done every 12 weeks, so I'm working on getting it down to that. I did record some of the process, so I will talk you through it. So they started by basing my scalp with the Affirm Gentle Assurance which prevents irritation to the scalp and hairlines. So they applied it throughout my scalp and across my hairline onto the relaxer. So she used the Affirm Cream Relaxer in Normal. It was actually a way quicker process than I'm used to. So we were straight in and I think it took about less than 10 minutes to apply it to my whole head and it was processing for less than 10. Like it was literally as soon as it started, it felt like it was ready to wash out so that was a really quick process Time to rinse out. So she rinsed out and applied the protein treatment, which was the reconstructor. Left that on for about five minutes and then rinsed out with the normalizing shampoo. I just had it blow 
blow dried and it trimmed so that's why i've got really blunt ends right now and straightened as usual <laughs> So I'll let you get a good close up. Actually really smooth and then the little kink from the under processed area from my last relaxer is all gone. Um, I'll show you at the back. I'm actually really happy with the results. I'm really happy with the process. So we discussed getting my hair relaxed there about three months ago and I've been scared ever since. But yeah, it was not a scary experience at all. And I just felt like it was done really thoroughly. I really like it. I think this might be the end of my self relaxing part of my hair journey. Um, my mum was relaxing my hair up until this point and she's been doing a great job for all these years but I think it's good to get um, the salon experience. And yeah, I'm just uh, very grateful that my scalp didn't burn, like that is great. Just a really pleasant experience and I'm really happy with the results. I think it looks really cute. It's light, it's fluffy. I think this time around, during this relaxer stretch, I think I'm only stretching for 12 weeks. I'm planning to have a few protective styles. So I really want a versatile sew-in. I think that'll look cute and I wanna have braids, so. I'll probably do one of the two at least um, and try and keep it in for like a month so I can just give my hair a bit of a break. So guys, that's it from me. If you liked this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions about my relaxing experience at the salon, make sure you leave them in the comment section down below. I'll leave all the details with the products that we used and the details of the salon down in the description box. And yeah, I guess I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching, guys. I know you